parasacral ischial plane block, an easy approach to the sacral plexus. The conventional methods to block the sacral plexus rely on either landmarks, ultrasound guided, or nerve stimulation techniques. We describe a very easy fascial plane approach to block the branches of the sacral plexus in the parasacral ischial plane. Let's look at the anatomy of the sacral plexus. The sacral plexus is formed by the anterior primary rami of S1 to S4 sacral nerves. In addition, they receive contributions from the L4 and L5 to form the lumbosacral trunk. The sacral plexus has got dorsal and ventral divisions. The dorsal divisions are highlighted in black in this picture. The main branches of the sacral plexus are the superior gluteal, the inferior gluteal, the sciatic, the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve and the pudendal nerves. Of clinical relevance, the three major nerves are the sciatic, the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve and the pudendal nerves. This is a view of the sacral plexus through the pelvis. The sacral plexus lies in the posterior pelvic wall behind the pelvic fascia and rests on the piriformis muscle. The nerves of the sacral plexus can take three different courses. The majority of the nerves leave the pelvis via the greater sciatic foramen, either above or below the piriformis, of which the most important nerves are the superior gluteal nerve, the inferior gluteal nerve, the sciatic and the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. A few nerves leave the pelvis via the greater sciatic foramen and re-enter through the lesser sciatic foramen, of which the pudendal nerve and the nerve to obturator internus are the most important. A few, most of the other smaller nerves remain within the pelvis. The gluteal region, when viewed from behind, shows the gluteus maximus covering the ileum. When the gluteus maximus is reflected, the muscles underneath it are the gluteus medius and then the piriformis. Inferior to the piriformis lies the major branches of the sacral plexus. The major branches of the sacral plexus coming inferior to the piriformis are the inferior gluteal nerve, the sciatic nerve, the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve, nerve to obturator internus and the pudendal nerves. When the piriformis is reflected, the sacral plexus lies medial to the posterior border of the ischium. This is where we would describe our innovative approach to block the sacral plexus. Currently, all the parasacral approaches to the sciatic nerve rely on identification of the nerves using either ultrasound or nerve stimulation. The earliest description of an ultrasound approach to the sacral plexus was done by Ben Ari et al. They placed the ultrasound probe caudal to the posterior inferior iliac spine and lateral to the sacrum and they identified the sacral plexus. They used a medial to lateral approach using nerve stimulation concurrently. They identified the sacral plexus in between the ischial bone and the sacrum and they had a successful block in all the cases. Following on from Penari's description, Benson et al. proposed a modification where they placed the ultrasound probe medial to the midpoint of the posterior superior iliac spine and the greater trochanter. The ultrasound probe was moved from a superolateral to an inferomedial direction parallel to the sacrum and this was called the parasacral parallel shift. They provided a roadmap to identify the changes in the ileum bone. The ileum initially appears as a hyperechoic contour. The break in the ileum defines the origin of the greater sciatic notch and, and then the sacral plexus was consistently identified medial to the ischial bone. Ahmad Taha et al. in 2013 described a simple parasacral approach to block the sciatic nerve. 
This approach was very similar to the one described by Benson et al., apart from the probe direction being from cranial to caudal without the parasacral parallel shift. Initially, when the probe was placed on the ileum, you could see the continuous hyperechoic bone of the ileum with the gluteus maximus and medius beneath it. As the probe is moved in a caudal direction, the discontinuity of the ileum appears as the greater sciatic notch. As the probe is moved even more inferiorly, the curved hyperechoic contour of the posterior border of ischium is seen and medial to the posterior border of ischium lies the sciatic nerve. They went on to describe the exact location where the probe needs to be placed for this approach, which is 8 cm at the highest point of the natal cleft. If the probe is placed, the posterior border of the ischium and the sciatic nerve medial to it can be easily identified. Recently, we described an easy fascial plane approach to block the sacral plexus, which we called as the parasacral ischial plane block. In our approach, the injection is done on the posterior border of the ischium underneath the pyriformis muscle from a lateral to medial direction. As depicted in this picture, an injection on the posterior border of the ischium underneath the pyriformis spreads medially to involve all the branches of the sacral plexus. The advantages of the parasacral ischial plane block are it's easy to perform fascial plane block using large volumes. The bony landmarks are reliable and consistent and the relationship of the sacral, sacral plexus to the posterior border of the ischium is also consistent. There's no need for neurostimulation. The vascular structures and the bowel structures are well away and the chances of complications are very less. And it's useful in situations where neurostimulation can't be performed or is not possible, like after the patient has had muscle relaxants or if the patient uh, has had an amputation. To perform the block, the patient is placed in the lateral position with the side to be blocked uppermost. A curvilinear 2 to 5 megahertz probe is placed medial to the midpoint of the line joining the posterior superior ilex spine and the greater trochanter. The probe is moved from a superior lateral to an inferomedial direction, the parasacral parallel shift. In this pictorial representation, a line is drawn joining the posterior superior ilex spine and the greater trochanter. The midline is drawn. The probe is placed medial to the midpoint and the probe is moved from a superolateral to an inferomedial direction parallel to the sacrum. When the probe is on the ileum, the continuous hyperechoic line of the ileum is seen. The gluteus maximus and the gluteus medius are visualized. As the probe is moved inferiorly, the discontinuity in the ileum is the greater sciatic notch. As the probe is moved inferomedially, the curved hyperechoic contour of the posterior border of the ischium can be visualized. The sacral plexus lies medial to the posterior border of the ischium. The posterior border of the ischium resembles a toucan's bill. Scanning video, probe moved from supralateral to inferomedial direction, identifying ileum, the greater sciatic notch, the posterior border of the ischium and the sacral plexus medial to it and the retroperitoneum anterior to the sacral plexus. Injection technique, a 80 or 100 millimeter echogenic P bevel needle is passed from lateral to medial direction in plane with the end point of the needle being in contact with the posterior border of the ischium. A volume of 20 mils of 0.25% or 0.5% ropivacaine is injected and the local anesthetic can be seen to spread under the pyriformis to surround the sacral plexus. An ultrasound image depicting the parasacral ischial plane block. An in-plane a lateral to medial injection, bony contact with the posterior border of the ischium, an injection of 20 mils of local anesthetic 
spreads medially under the pyriformis to surround the sacral plexus. The retroperitoneal contents can be seen here. Pictorial diagram depicting the same posterior border of the ischium, the pelvic fascia, the sacral plexus, and the pyriformis muscle. The injection from lateral to medial, the local anesthetic spreads medially under the pelvic fascia. This is the real time block performance. The posterior border of the ischium is identified. The needle approaches from lateral to medial direction. Only contact with the ischium is made. And the injection under the pyriformis spreads medially to block the sacral plexus.